supply chain issues brought on by the pandemic. You've heard a lot about them. Yeah, for some that has meant receiving furniture months after buying it. And this time of year, certain items that make for popular gifts can be hard to find because the supply is lower. But a WRTV's Nikki Dementri joining us now in studio, showing us an even more concerning problem tonight. Nikki. Hey, good evening, Mark and Nicole. Experts say those supply chain problems aren't expected to be corrected and itself until mid to late next year. As we all know right now, Central Indiana is experiencing a surge in COVID cases and hospitalizations. Now, testing and vaccines are an important tool in combating this virus, but many of those testing and vaccine sites, well, they're seeing their own supply chain issues. It's just a it's just a challenge that never seems to end from rapid tests to syringes. Supply chain issues are hitting central Indiana vaccine and testing sites. As things come up, we try to predict things, um, but there's certainly things that are out of our control and they continue to be surprising. Recently, the Fisher's Health Department at one point stopped rapid test and walk in vaccine appointments, and it's all because of supply chain issues and those issues caused a domino effect. When we don't have the rapid tests available, then we see a lot of people transition over to the PCR test. So then that um, puts strain on the laboratories that do the PCR test and they say, wait, what happened? We were doing 100 a day, now we're doing 300 a day. All now are back online, although rapid testing is only for qualified individuals. We're prioritizing uh, 18 and under so that they can uh, make sure to stay in school and be available for finals if, if we can rule them out in a quick way. This comes at a time when demand for testing and vaccines are high. So far, the Fisher's Health Department gave 73,000 vaccines and 80 to 90,000 tests. The director of public health, Monica Health, says with walk-in appointments, it averages 700 vaccines a day and it's booked out through December 28th. How do you move forward with testing and vaccines as we know there's still going to be a hot commodity as we move, especially into these more respiratory months. Yeah, so, you know, we do what we can to, to predict what we can predict um, and to build in some buffers so that we hopefully aren't in these urgent scenarios. We're troubleshooting well ahead of when we run out. Health says her department isn't alone. Last week, Boone County and Madison County stopped rapid testing. The state acknowledged it reduced, quote, allocation of Bionex test kits due to limited availability and was working towards securing more. I wish I knew more about what the cause was because that would help me find a solution. But, you know, we're rolling with it as much as we can. Yeah, Health's main message tonight is to be flexible. Her biggest tip for COVID-19 vaccines in particular, make an appointment ahead of time. Although walk-in appointments are convenient, supply chain issues can quickly shut down this option. But with an appointment, you are much more likely to be seen and get the vaccine you need. Mark, Nicole. Nikki, thank you. Making an appointment to get vaccinated is pretty easy. To sign up for any COVID shot, you can make an appointment through the website ourshot.in.gov or by dialing 211. To find a COVID testing site, you can go to the website coronavirus.in.gov. There's a link to find a testing location near you at the top of the front page.